Tonight on Theme Park Forge, we are going to build an old school animation device, the multi-plane camera. In my last video, I went on a quest to understand why the old Disney cartoons are so much better than today's. One invention, the multi-plane camera, allowed Walt Disney and his animators to create the best cartoons of all time. In my last video, I discovered how the multi-plane camera was designed to turn 2D scenes into 3D worlds. The story of its invention had a lot more detail than I realized, and it was an interesting story to see how and why it was invented, and the multiple people who were a part of it. If you're interested in Disney history, definitely check out my other video. Wonder how the multiplane camera made Disney cartoons famous? Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of A Farm at Night that shows just how remarkable that animation technology was. In my last video, I promised my viewers that I would build an actual multiplane camera. So I'm fulfilling that promise by building three, an analog, classic Disney multiplane camera that imitates the machine they used to make such films such as Bambi and Alice in Wonderland. The other two cameras are all digital. One is made using a video editor called DaVinci Resolve, and the other is made in a 3D modeling software called Blender. These imitate techniques used to animate Disney Renaissance films such as Beauty and the Beast as well as Pixar films such as Finding Nemo. We are going to apply the multi-plane camera effect to a classic painting, Starry Night by Van Gogh. It's one of my favorites and I hope you love it too. If you love creativity and outside the box thinking and you are an Imagineering fan, you will love Theme Park Forge. Hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. And now, Starry Night as seen through the eyes of the multi-plane camera. <laughs> 